Welcome to another episode of Take Two with Terry and Tony. I'm Terry. And I'm Tony. This week we're reviewing uh, Prometheus, highly anticipated movie by Ridley Scott. Prometheus! Ridley Scott! <sighs> oh, side note. Looks like he had a haircut. Yes, I did. As you know, I was wearing a cap last week because I was kind of growing out my hair and it was looking pretty bad. So, yep, yeah, got the fresh. Went back to the Mohawk. Uh... Yep. Hmm. Back. Can, can, can I see that? Can I see that? Back and better than ever. So, see. Are you are you uh, 16 or 17 years old? <laughs> <laughs> My mommy said I could get it. My or, mommy said or, I could get it. Or do you play, or do you play uh, uh, European League soccer? I play professional ultimate frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how they do it? Yeah, that's how they do it. Well, back to the movie, though. Official haircut. Pass, bro. <laughs> Official haircut of Nerf. <laughs> That's how we do it. Uh, back to the movies. Uh, we're reviewing Prometheus, uh, directed by Ridley Scott. Tell me what you think of the movie. I thought Prometheus was awesome. It was a really good movie. I was hyped for it. Uh, it did not disappoint. Um... This dude's going for my cup again. He's going for my. He's going. He's going for my cup, bro. Bro, eh, we're the same person. Uh, where's our producer? She's not here. Our producer's not here. I need some more. I need some more water. Our producer's not here. Yeah. Continue with your review. I'm not drinking this. Anyway, so. <laughs> So the movie is very good. Um, the movie's very good. It didn't disappoint. It was a nice sci-fi thriller. Um, pretty much, I enjoyed it. Go yeah. ahead. I'm lost for words. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the movie was a good movie. Uh, it, I, it didn't disappoint, like uh, Tony said. Um, it was somewhat of a prequel to Alien, although um, it was kind of its own standalone movie, excuse me, as well. Um, it was good performance, performances by everybody involved. Yeah, true. The, uh, the CG, CGI and the special effects were very well done. 3D, uh, which we actually, we saw it in 3D, very well done. Um, I thought the landscape for, especially the, op- to me, the opening scene, that landscape with the waterfall and everything, oh, yeah. Yeah. that was, that was yeah. excellent. Yeah. Everything was very well done. Mm-hmm. It was just the way they made the planet that they went went to. Uh, it looked fantastic. Mm-hmm. Everything uh, was done uh, very well. Uh, the storyline, like we said, uh, was... It, it, it was it was kind of out there. It, yeah, was, it, was, it was weird. It was a little complicated. It took me a little bit to wrap my head around what was actually going on even it, and it's this kind of movie where you even thinking about it after you know you walk out of the theater like mm-hmm. you know still trying to put two and two together on certain parts but um i thought it was very well done i think the uh, there's there's some some tense moments some um uh, i guess edge of your seat type scenes but i don't think there's nothing really that it's not a scary movie yeah and the gore is even though the gore is kept, if, if being a rated R mo- uh, movie, I kind of was expecting more yeah. gore. Yeah. The gore is kind of kept to a minimum. Yeah. But there are parts where you're kind of like, ah. uh, yeah, it is kind of nasty. I, I wish, I actually wish there was more gore in it. But I think that were probably, probably taken away from the film a little bit if there was actually more gore in it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it would probably change the the type of movie. Yeah, the type of was. movie it was, right. More instead of a sci-fi thriller, be more just a horror, horror movie, right? Um, I think it was a, a smart, intelligent film, like they like to say. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. Um, I don't think there was even any boring parts. Anything that you thought? No. Well, I guess, like I said about the gore thing, mm. um, I guess it. it I, I was expecting more gore, and since it wasn't gore, it wasn't like it was boring. It was kind of. It seemed like there was a lot of spacing between 
the uh, the gory the the gory if any quote unquote gory parts. Mm. But that's just me because I wanted to see the gore. Yeah. But um, I didn't know. I didn't think any parts were boring though. No. Now the last fifteen minutes or so, yeah, uh, kind of dragged on just a little bit. Yeah, but um, it wasn't like it was boring. It was just kind of like, where is this going? Yeah, where is this going? Right, right. right. So. It could have ended. Um, 15 minutes earlier there's a scene where it's like okay well i thought that would be the end but then it kind of goes on a little bit longer and it was just like okay well i see what they're trying to do but um it, it comes together in the end and um well actually i wouldn't say it comes together in the end they're trying to set it up for sequels um i could tell um by just by what happens um they're setting up for at least one sequel if not more so, uh, Prometheus, I, I think it was a good movie. Yeah, um, I agree. I was not disappointed. Neither was I. So, as we like to customarily do on this show, uh, we either give it a salute if we like it, or we turn our back to it if we do not. So, salute. Uh, after all I said, um, I still don't think I'm going to have to turn my back. <laughs> um, I like the movie. Um but it was good it was good but not great it was it was actually a great movie um i'm just gonna turn my back on it though okay well i'm gonna give it a salute that was a very well done movie so prometheus i salute you i turn my back oh wait oh oh i got confused oh, <laughs> oh that's <laughs> all right no for prometheus yeah i salute you as well so uh next week sir we next doing... week is father's day uh we're gonna do a show similar to our mother's day show uh we're not gonna give too much away because you know it's gonna be uh full of excitement and thrills and we did what well i think if you say it's similar to our mother's day show i think they could just go back and watch our mother's day show i said sim- i said similar not exactly you just the, the source that you bought me jerk <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's gonna be similar, so we gotta buy got a few special guests. Oh, is that right? Yeah, we got a uh, special guest. Yeah, we got some special guests. You don't, you don't want to ruin it. Nah, yeah, I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, so you know, Riggedy Row is coming. <laughs> We're actually gonna try to get for for Father's Day get our uh, get President Obama on here to try to talk about how what it means to be a a, 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 a father. Um, I contacted him. I'm still trying to. The, the Secret Service is having me jump, jump through hoops. Jumping through hoops. Yeah. So I hate when that happens. Yeah, I know, man. The same thing happened when when I tried to contact uh, 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 President Clinton. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's just, just security so tight. Yeah, it's so tight. I mean, election, it's election year, so you know. Man, you know he's, he's, I mean, it's just the president. Yeah. But anyway. Um, uh, we should have special guests. Maybe we'll try to get our own dad on here. He's not gonna. <laughs> he's not gonna come on here. Anyway, we'll get a fake guy to pretend who's up. He's up. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just do some light skinned dude and say the dudes are dead. <laughs> so, uh, until next time, this is take two with Terry and Tony. I'm Terry and I'm Tony. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>